Hey, I'm Marlo coming to you from Grants Pass. Hoping you're having a good, what is today? Thursday. Super late. So, well, not super late, but a little bit late. So I'm doing a porch update tonight and I just wanted to do a quick, um, quick update. How are you doing? Um, it was a beautiful day here. Uh, and also, you know, what are you grateful for? So let's see what happened today. Had a fried egg sandwich on my keto bread today, which was super awesome. Very, very yummy. And then for dinner, I had a chicken Caesar salad, which was really good. And I have been getting my exercise in. I could do a little bit more, but I am really, um, I am definitely doing more than I usually do. Exercise, getting that in is one of my hard things because, of course, I'm busy, so I have to set a timer and make myself do it. But I've been doing my jump rope, so jumping rope. I'm actually kind of liking it. I think I'm getting a little more coordinated, so it's not quite as, not quite as crazy <laughs> as it has been. Hey, Landy. Uh, so, I've uh, been doing the jumping rope. We did get out. I had to go to the store and to the bank and we did hit Winco. It was a beautiful day. I, I think there's just a few little wispy clouds. I did post some pictures if you want to check those out, but beautiful day today. Um, and we were actually going to the bank and then noticed that Winco looked super empty. There's like hardly any cars. And so we said, well, let's try. Maybe they'll have some toilet paper. Let's see. We haven't gone for a while. And we went in and they were doing the... Uh, limiting the number of people, but there was uh, not a line because it was, I guess they didn't have as too many people in there. So we, they were limiting and they were cleaning the carts off, which was very nice. Cause I'm always worried about sanitizing the carts and that sort of thing. So they had all the carts sanitized for us. You didn't have to do that. And then they do, um, when you line up at the end, they have everyone, you know, they have a lines on the floor so you can make sure you're six feet away from each other. But Pretty much, I was really happy to see that they were pretty much stocked up on everything, except for those key items, you know, like rice. I did find a bag of rice, but they were low. There was not that many, and not that many beans, but they had tortillas. They had most canned goods. Um, most canned goods were there. Um, no toilet paper. They did have paper towels, though. Um, and most everything else, you know, they had the milk, they had eggs, they had butter, and, and all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, really uh, was looking pretty good. It didn't look too bad at all. Just uh, those kind of key items that are, are missing still, but it was a whole lot better than the last time we went. Last time we went, there were so many shelves that were empty. So uh, that's pretty good. Can't wait until we can get a consistent supply of toilet paper though. That will be so nice. Thankfully, I do have a little bit stocked up. Um, anyway, so that was that and uh, doing my jump rope. And I just wanted to talk a little bit, you know, with all the craziness going on, of course, it's really hard. I'm trying not to watch the news too much because that is just a killer for your productivity and your mental state. If you watch too much of the news, they just tell you the terrible stuff most of the time. But uh, what are you grateful for today? You know, I that's kind of what I've been going to is what am I grateful for? Sure, there's lots of, you know, stuff going on that's not so great. But if you focus on the good stuff that's happening, it really does put you in a whole, whole much better mindset and attitude and try to focus on those things. Like I'm, you know, so grateful that I have, I actually am able to work from home. So I am working. I have my job. I know a lot of people are not. Um, and so I'm really excited for that. Very great, grateful for that. Grateful that, you know, hey, the stock market kind of went up a little bit today. Yay. Grateful for beautiful blue skies, my keto bread, and uh, my daughter's still working, and uh, my family, and we're all healthy so far. So, so, so many things to be grateful for. Um, I have cute little puppies that I get to hug on all the time. Uh, lots of things to be grateful for. Got to drive in my Jeep today, which is always good. I love that. Anytime I need an attitude adjustment, I just get in my Jeep and drive because I love driving my Jeep. It just puts a smile on your face and it's it's so, so much fun and getting those Jeep waves out. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. So try to focus more on what you're grateful for and, uh, you know, the good things that are happening, the good things you see, and hopefully that'll help brighten things up a little bit. I know a lot of, um, if you are having difficulties, you know, a lot of places, a lot of banks, a lot of, uh, lenders and stuff are, you know, they're postponing payments, deferring payments and that sort of thing. So hopefully if you're having any of those issues that will help you out. But anyway, if you would like a list, I did a live yesterday on, um, it was like 10 and I came up with like 15 or 16 positive good news items that are happening around the whole coronavirus thing and if you like that list it has 
Um, it has a list and it has links and stuff so you can check it out. It just makes you feel better when you see some good stuff that is happening instead of all the negativity. If you like that list, just send me a private message and say good news and I'll send it to you. It has a lot of great links in there and a lot of good information. And then also, I even found a Facebook Facebook group that is really cool all about good news around uh, the whole coronavirus and lots of people posting good good uh, good events and good things that are happening and lots of stuff to put a smile on your face so okay someone's walking out there anyway hopefully if you want that just send me a private message and say uh, good news and i'll send that to you and uh, have a great rest of your day it's thursday tomorrow's friday uh get ready to celebrate tomorrow and uh have a great rest of your evening